Embark. The backpack has been prepared. The wind has blown away the dark clouds. The unknown awaits ahead. Dorothy. Dorothy. Are you okay? Yes. I'm fine. S slow down. You almost knocked me over. It's all my fault. If I'd found out what Ferdinand had... Ferdinand has been up to sooner. If I'd figure out a way to tell everyone sooner. If I talked to you a little more. If... Sheesh, look at you. You came all the way here from observation in a hurry. Is dirt on your face? It might have gotten on my face when I was beating up Ferdinand. I already forgot what I grabbed to beat him with. My hand was shaking really bad. Were you taking it out on him? No. That didn't feel good at all. Dorothy, I'm disappointed. And I'm angry. But after the dust settled, and after seeing all those soldiers run after him, I also started to feel really bad. Because of everything Ferdinand did? No, because... Because of what he could have done. I still remember everything he taught me. And I still believe that. When he told me about his grand ideas, there wasn't an inkling of deception behind the light in his eyes. And there was a time when I wanted his recognition more than anything. It's got to be really silly, right? Saying stuff like that? Not even a little, Elena. Sometimes it's harder to accept. Then to deny. You won't have to be anyone's assistant ever again. He won't cast a shadow on you again. But the flames he lit still burn in your eyes. His end is your start point. And there's no doubt you will walk much further than he ever did. Dorothy. Why do you sound like you're saying goodbye? W what do you mean I won't be an assistant anymore? I know you plugged yourself into the hub, but it doesn't mean there's something wrong with your body, right? Calm down. I'm fine, if you don't believe me. Ask our good doctor. I make no guarantees. Olivia, are you finished checking all the pioneers? There's still one more to go. Hmm. The transmitter is still flowing through you. You are showing no physical abnormalities at the moment. But no one can tell how things might develop in the future. You don't need to worry about me, my dear doctor. These substances flowing inside me pose no greater threat than the crystals on your bodies and the brewing storm up ahead. But those little things won't stop us, will they? Certainly not. The out-of-control co out of control construct caused significant destruction to the base. There is hardly any rubble in front of them, only a clean floor of silvery white. Before long, even that will be cleaned up. But there will always be traces left here. Suddenly, the silver river in front of, you, of them begins to move again. The reflections of the rain clouds, huh? Acknowledged. The government has taken over all administration of the site. And per our agreement, Rhodes Island needs to destroy all the information we've collected. But this isn't the end. I just got a new lead about Ferdinand's backer. I'm on my way to meet with the informant now. Doctor. Saria stops in her tracks and looks up. There are rain clouds slowly drifting their way into the city. At the test site, some 60 miles away, somebody else is thinking the exact same thing. It's about the rain 
in tryouts. That's pretty much a wrap. Thanks for helping us clean up, Gray. I'm glad I could help, Mr. Sunny. And the... Uh, there's not actually much to clean up. We did good. Looks just like how things were when we got here. Hey, do me a favor and pass on our apology. And some thanks to your co-workers. It's just like you said. You Rhodes Islanders pull us up out of our funk. No, Mr. Sunny. It was you and the rest of the pioneers who saved yourself. Did you forget? If you hadn't made your voice heard, we wouldn't have had the chance to take your hand. I'm blessed to have a friend like you. My little engineer buddy, I'll never forget what you told me. Not to mention that happened everything that happened here at the site. And Mary, it's my job to make sure all of you get away from the site. What I was going to say is, you still got a chance to arrest me. This whole mess is an experiment gone wrong. Thanks to the work of a lone actor. That's the word on, from on the high anyway. And since these Ryan researchers don't want to press the charges, your little kidnapping isn't in the records. No. I'm not talking about the last couple days. I'm talking about four years ago. You know why I signed up for the experiment last night? Every pioneer has a reason to want to go back to the city. And my reason is... I have to go back to someone I hurt bad. Someone who used to be my dearest friend. I owe her an apology and... I deserve to be judged. I've been on the wrong run for four years. I thought... At first, I thought the way swallowed my dreams and changed me into a different man. But that's not what happened. On that night four years ago, I killed the Sunny Romana who believed in justice and equality. I did it with my own two hands. If you do get arrested, there's only two possible punishments waiting for you. One. You'll get thrown into prison and in an infected quarantine zone once you've done your time. And the other, you be a pioneer and the nomadic cities will be close to you forever. I know, but you're already a pioneer. So that means you, let's stop it. Let's stop it with all this talk about whether I forgive you or not. Your buddy is here to send you on your way. Shouldn't you hurry up and do something more meaningful? A long overdue warm hug, a true reunion, and also a formal farewell after years apart. Have you figured out where to go next? It's some guy who's got, who's got a bunch of letters for a name. Starts with a D. He sent us a kind of weird email the other day. There was an invitation to work with him attached. I still have no idea how he got the contact information for the Pioneer team. He doesn't seem like he's from a recruiting agency. You should be more careful the next time you pick up work. Try not to break the law again either. Otherwise, it doesn't matter where you run. I'll drag you back here. I promise. <laughs> you got it, officer. Not far away. His brothers and sisters on the Pioneer team call out to him. Sonny knows that. This time, he's truly prepared to go on his journey. They started cleaning up the mess at the test site. Uh, Ryan Lab's still in charge of cleanup. Yeah, I guess this is kind of corporate social responsibility for us, huh? I'm more willing to believe this is a deal. All right. Not like there's anyone who believes that explanation here. Those pioneers. You've been watching them for a while. They're starting a new journey. I wonder what they'll find next time. Again and again in a never-ending cycle. 
They can never go back home. And they might never again have a place they can even call home. Doctor, I found that Ryan personnel are digging away in the rubble of the labs. Dr. Mulesis, you're here too. Mulesis, have you figured out when you answer my question yet? Question. What it is that's bothering me? When I'm prepared to talk, it will be first to know, Dr. Rain. Relax. It's all been taken care of. No civilians will ever find out what happened at Site 359. There's no chance of anyone using this against you in your um upcoming election. Yes, I'm well out, out of tryouts already. I'm on my way to Max DC now. Ferdinand? He's no threat anymore. You can be sure of that. Ma'am. You're standing right outside Ryan Lab. Why did you lie to the vice president? Because I still remember my original goal. He doesn't know how far he's walked. His aching, hoarse throat reminds him that his body cannot bear such exhaustion. However, it feels as though the trimounts is right behind him. It could be right in front of him too. The shadow of a nomadic city is enormous, and it grows endlessly with the passage of time. He must hurry. Hurry. Where is he going in such a hurry? Will someone betray him at the next waypoint? Just as Elena and Ho Ol Heak did. Hold it there. We know who you are. Ferdinand, you think you get to just walk away scot free after everything you've done? Don't think that gear you're in is going to scare us. You talk big, but you can't actually control it. Even if you open fire and kill us all here, you'll run into the next team of pioneers. Look out into the waste. No friends here. Your enemies go on forever. It doesn't matter. The transmitter he developed himself is right at his fingertips. All he has to do is inject it into himself and he will immediately be able to wield this power armor with ease. And all these so-called enemies will be powerless against him. But why doesn't he do it? Is it because he doesn't have the courage that Dorothy does? Or is it because... Ferdinand, you are the one who's being left behind by the times. The grand ideals in your eyes. Because you never believed that you belonged to this epoch. You always talk about how you're in control of it. You're always thinking, controlling, but you never feel. Whose voice is this? Is it Elena's? Right. If you don't want to be left behind, you must become a part of it. The power armor remains silent. It proceeds no further. And it does not put up a, f a struggle. It simply raises its arms. Just like it is embracing the winds. The sunlight. And the lands before it. An onslaught of angry pioneers rushes towards it. And just as the silver monster that once hovered midair above the test site. Swallows the ironforged body whole. Does the melee and their foundation still have doubts about this? No control. I'm not representing Maylander this time. I'm a busy woman, you know? Right. It so happens I prefer to skip the pleasantries. You retrieved the most crucial part of the 
experiment at Site 359, the hub was destroyed in its entirety by Dorothy. That's what it says in the report submitted to the government. But it so happens that I saw a team in some pretty low-key outfits driving a discreet, completely curtained off transport into your personal laboratory. Saria said you turned a blind eye to what Ferdinand was doing. Perhaps it would be more accurate to say you used him. The thing that you wanted most is now sitting right on your desk. The cleanup work at Site 359 is a project that Ryan Lab had to take. And every day, countless failed experiment byproducts are destroyed. No matter what it is you think you saw, it's not worthy of attention out outside attention. Destroyed? Well, of course. I'm sure that scrap heap is gone from your desk. Evidence can be destroyed. And memories can be modified. But whenever something happens, it tends to have a lasting effect on the things that come after. Look in. Harvest. Ferdinand. Maybe at some point in the future their names will be completely absent from the history books. But there is no doubt that they changed the course of history. Arts units implants. Technologies imbued with the revived ancient Sarkov's powers. Our armor controllable over a long distance. And the mental manifestation networks over even broader areas. What will be the next experiment that alters the very epoch we live in? A researcher is here to explore all the possibilities out there. I don't make predictions. Suppose that memories can lead leap past the limitations of time. Predictions are nothing more than rediscovering history that's been buried. Why don't we reacquaint ourselves, Kirsten Wright? I'm Hol Heak, historian and honorary president of the Colombian Astrological Research Association. And forgive me for making a prediction right here and now. Perhaps I will be the partner you need, you most need and very soon. She's bad news. Mrs. Stacia, researcher Elena isn't back yet. I know she's told me already. I just wanted to stay here a little while. So I can see her when she comes back. <laughs> Sometimes I'm jealous of Elena. Having a sister that cares so much about her. Hmm. Who was that? Wait. The astrolabe lit up. The sky after rain is always exceptionally clear. This is one of the rare reasons that Kirsten ever steps out of her laboratory. It isn't that she particularly likes the twinkling lights. If conjectures cannot be proven, then they are only self-deceiving lies. Yet lies aren't completely meaningless. If, even if a shadow has been twisted thousands of times, it is still cast by something that is real and truthful. Lies exist only to demonstrate one thing, that the truth also exists. It is hidden among these radiant twinkling stars, and the sky also isn't as far as it seems. When she reaches her hand out, she will surely be able to touch it. The only truth that has been suffocating the people from up, ab up above for thousands of years And that's the end of the story. Ta-da! We made it! 